Today, I'm going to be constructing a nine-point circle on GSP. First, we're going to begin with creating a arbitrary triangle. I'm just connecting my lines, and then I'm going to label my vertices. From there, I'm going to find the midpoint of all three legs. And then I can label these midpoints as well. So I have a triangle, arbitrary, with my vertices labels, as well as the midpoints of AB, BC, and CF being my first three points on my nine point circle. Now I'm going to construct the altitudes, which I can grab the, the vertex B and then the line AC and construct a uh, perpendicular line and these are the altitudes of my triangle. Awesome and now I'm going to um, plot a point where their intersection is. These will be my next three points on my nine point circle and I will label them as well. There we go. Okay. Now I have a point of um, intersection between all the altitudes, so I'm going to plot that point as well. Now I'm going to con uh, connect line segments from the vertices B to the uh, point in the middle. And then I'm going to do the same thing for C in the point in the middle and A for the point in the middle. Now I can hide some things. I want to hide this dotted line this dash line. There we go. And I guess that line did not become dashed, but I will hide everything else. So now I have just my al um, altitudes and the concurrency point. I'm then going to find the midpoints of these altitudes. These will be my last three points on my nine point circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and label these as well. As you can see, there uh, is a circle that is being formed. The only issue or dilemma that we have is we still do not know where the location of the center of our circle is. So that'll be our last step. Now I'm going to uh, create a triangle within our circle to make sure that we can find the mid, uh, the, the center of our circle. So I'm going to be taking our first three points that we ever plotted other than the vertices of the triangle. And we have our D, our E, and our F. I'm going to be creating a triangle with these points and I will change the color just to make it a little bit easier. So we have this line, this line, and this line. Let's make them orange. Okay. Now I'm going to find the midpoints of these three lines. Now that I did the midpoints of D, E, E, F, and F, D, I'm now going to do the, I'm going to click the point and click the line and then I'm going to construct a perpendicular line. Line, point, construct a perpendicular line. Where are the intersection of these two points? And now I could do the third point, but it's going to go th through the same um, intersection point. Now I'm going to plot that point. And that point, my folks, is the center of our circle. So let me um, put this in a different color so you can see that. So we have this point right here, and I'll label it M to be the center of our circle. So then I can do this, and voila, we see that we have a center of M and that our, oh, let's make this purple, and then let's make it thick. So we see our purple, um, purple circle with center point M with J, H, E, K, F, I, L, D, and G all on the nine point circle. And there, uh, there we have the nine point circle and the construction in GSP.